in Malawi our first solar trough kettle with the NMT solar doubler which removes all need for solar tracking it also doubles the reflection onto the panel and it needs one event at noon where the solar doubler changes from facing to the sunrise to facing to the sunset which occurs at local noon. So if we come round here we can almost see two solar troughs but there's only one. That means one solar trough sees two suns. When we come to the back, okay, we now come to the kettle which is here and I don't know if we can see it but you can perhaps see some slow convection of very hot water coming out of the pipe convecting into the pot. What we're going to do is we're going to put in some eggs. So we'll put in some eggs. At the moment the water is not quite yet boiling but we'll do that later and uh, this has been built uh, here at a town called Nchizi in Malawi at a carpenter workshop where we've got Lucas who's been basically catching the idea for solar trough kettles in Malawi ideally to build Malawi or Panda Uzi. There's our Mozilla. We'll sort this out. It might put some insulation around the pot. And here's Lucas with two young lads who's just going to explain in Jichewa what's going on. <laughs> Malawi panels. Malawi without smoke. So the purpose of a solar trough kettle is to boil water so that you don't need to cut down trees to cook water with burning wood. Uh, most of the energy consumption in smallholder Malawi is from burning wood to cook, mainly heating water. So a solar trough kettle can take a lot of that energy direct from the sun. <laughs>